Paige Ellis, who's standing by in Toronto with uh, more details on how banking turmoil is roiling the markets today, Paige. Well, it's really interesting because just yesterday, of course, the uh, U.S. Federal Reserve released their interest rate decision and they hiked by a quarter point. And the chair, Jerome Powell, talked about how, you know, the situation was calm in the banking sector. They have a good handle on things. Not two hours later, uh, we learned uh, that PacWest Bank Corp uh, was uh, experiencing some serious challenges. And then just this morning, TD and uh, First Horizon, which is another regional bank in the U.S., they mutually agreed to end their merger, a deal that was announced just a year ago. So the, the, the chaos in the banking sector continues, and that is really souring the mood south of the border. And in Canada as well, actually, to a degree, because there's some spill over here. What's propping up the TSX this morning, though, is Shopify. And let's talk about that. Shares of Shopify are surging today after they announced a huge strategic pivot. Right. So last I checked, shares up by more than 20 percent. So the, the company put out their quarterly release, you know, where you're anticipating just your standard Q1 quarterly release. Instead, what we learned is that Shopify is basically pivoting its strategically. So it's going back to its roots as an e-commerce platform. They'd really spent a lot of time and, and billions of dollars building out warehousing and logistics so that their merchants who use their platform could use some of those other features. They could not just sell through uh, Shopify's platform, they could also store their products in a Shopify warehouse. They've decided now at Shopify to sell the bulk of that logistics business and just focus on e-commerce. And the market loves this. They, they think overwhelmingly that the warehousing strategy, while it seemed like a good idea at the time, came with too many complexities. And so uh, investors are rewarding Shopify for this really remarkable pivot. All right, BNM Bloomberg's Paige Ellis with all the details. Thanks so much. Thanks.